warning to actor Ursadak female is what the map has told us. Okay. Oh. Thank you, map. There you go. Now Here, we know. <laughs> at the 8 o'clock <laughs> position, we have our red Zerg player from Team Slayers trying to close things out for them. It is Min. And his opponent at the 2 o'clock position from Team Liquid, winner of the Hot Import Knights event and winner of the last game, trying to take things to a tie. It's Liquid Hero. Yep. Hero's going to need to be on his guard this time. I mean, this is a map that Zergs can do that three hatch no gas opening, but it's also a map that Zergs can be a little bit cheesy, a little bit overly aggressive on. And uh, Hero definitely going to need to be kind of firing on all cylinders here to use a car, a car sort of reference just for I'm you. Proud you, you. I'm proud of Thank you. I'm proud of you. So I'll right. make a car fan out of you yet. Well, I, I like looking at them, but that's... Well, I like it. driving them. It's that's better, that's yeah. the driving fun part. Driving is, is okay. Yes. Okay. I think you mean amazing. I'm sorry. It's, well, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good tune. Uh, Good tone too. Whoa! Uh, what hey, I think that was. Wh what is that? <laughs> hey, babe. that is panda bear guy. That is a panda bear guy. Is is actually now a moving beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is see. This is why you don't disable the zoom in. Yeah, that's right. So that um, is. Wow. Okay. Hey, Panda Bear guy. Well, that is something I was not expecting to see in this match no. today. No. Uh, I don't uh, care. Is there a game going on? Whatever. Beach ball. It's Panda I'm Bear be. guy. Now he's not moving. He, even, he knows uh, her eyes are on him. <laughs> <and> he's <laughs> slipping <laughs> back into the shadows. <laughs> oh, that's just creepy, man. It's got like, oh, that's just creepy. I bet there's like a ton of little legs underneath it. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, Panda Bear guy, you've taken a turn for the worse. And next is first now for Hero. It reminds me, Imprint oh. Control just tweeted about some sort of video where spiders are living under people's skin. Uh. And so now I'm Jeez, all creeped why? out and I have the, I just have the heebie jeebies right now just sitting here. So Panda Bear guy is actually making me feel better. At least Space Shark is still here to keep me comfortable. Space Shark's creeped out, man. He's like, I do not want to be on this map anymore. Oh, yes. oh it's still there. <laughs> it's there's oh, Panda Bear look guy. Away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so uh, another hatchery coming up for uh, Min at the moment. He decided to pull first. No real surprise. Forge coming up after. After the uh, Nexus 4 hero. I'm creeped out by that beach ball thing, man. <laughs> it's it's creepy. It's, it's, uh, what can you do about it? It's, it's just still there. It's like that robot in Star Wars. Is there though, another too, one of. around? I don't see him. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like that robot in Star Wars, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it just kind of putters along, <laughs> and the Jawas are never going to be able to sell it because it's just the dumbest robot ever. Nobody wants it. I was wondering about half of their robots. Like, I, I get that they're scavengers, but, like, why do they try to sell them whole? I mean, it just didn't make any sense. So who's going to buy that robot? Sometimes you scavenge whole robots. I suppose, but useless robots? I don't know. Well, there's a robot for everything. You know, I mean, if it's like, I think that robot was like a giant one of those tiny robots that sweep things. Wait, this is know? Panda Bear Guy, too. But um, yeah, the other panda get bear guy was mutated strangely, and oh, the third base blocked a little bit, and there's the pylon. So Min is going to need to wait a little bit longer before he takes it. Luckily, he does have a zergling out, and that will help him DPS it down fairly quickly. So to kind of get back to the game, <laughs> I guess, although it's difficult with that roving beach ball on the map. It's a Roomba. Um, That's what it is. It's a Roomba. It's a Roomba. It's a giant space Roomba. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Uh, it, pretty normal openings from both players so far. Oh, wow, and another pylon block as well, and uh, this one actually going to uh, construct most of the way as well, and Hero thinking about yet another pylon oh, wow. just being as annoying as possible. Well, that is annoying, no doubt about it. He's going to be able to just cancel these and only sacrifice 25 minerals for each one of them, and he's going to really definitely delay that third base. It's going to be tough to uh, get that up and running, going to be tough to spread que uh, creep there as well, and without the larva that that base provides, it's going to be annoying for uh, Min to try to keep up with the strategy that he wanted to do. And look at this, he's already taking a gas. He's like, all right, I give up. I'm just going to change what I had planned. And Hero scouts it immediately. So Hero totally in control of this start of this game. And we'll see if Min decides to put down this third base on the left. There's 300 minerals, and that's selected. And we do have a hatchery. So third base coming out. Looks like the probe is going to get shut down before he can scout once again. And we'll see if Hero wants to be super aggressive off of two bases here, or if he decides to change up his strategy just a little bit. Yep. Overlord doing some scouting. Yeah, surprise Panda find. Bear guy! Ah, Space Roomba! All right, so here's the thing. Now, with what Min sees, what he's looking for is some sort of really early aggressive opening. You know, he's like, all right, why are you trying so hard to deny my third? Well, one reason for that could be because Hero wants to do something ridiculously aggressive, like seven gate plus one. I keep mentioning it, but you know, I mean, you see it so often. I feel like it's it's a very valid strategy, obviously, and that's the exact type of thing that Min wants to know if his opponent is doing it or not. I uh, think we might see something a little bit different from Hero, but 
It looks like he does want to try to do a little bit of damage at least. Well, he does have four more gates coming up now, so that's, mm. uh, that's a total of five. We'll see if he decides to add on any more. There's six, and uh, he will have enough for a seventh momentarily. Uh, regardless, he's still going to have a very strong attack at his disposal. This queen going to go down without being able to inject it. Also, this hatchery already losing a lot of its utility. Um, yeah. And uh, Zergling's thinking about swinging through few units. Uh, oh, actually, they're pretty far away. Nothing going to be able to catch up and reinforce for the time being. Oh, Hero definitely in some trouble. He needs to be careful that he doesn't pull those Zerglings right back to his pylon, which is actually what is almost happening here. His gateways aren't done. He can't reveal that pylon yet. Oh, look at that. Pulling his stalkers just around the pylon area. That's so good. Oh, man, because there are three of them there. And a cannon. He's even protecting that pylon with a cannon. So Hero wants to end the game right here. It's going to be six gate rather than seven gate. Yeah, Interesting. that's Going that's for right. something a little bit more technical here, it looks like, and putting down that third gas, too, so... You <laughs> and, know, he's and he's not all in. He's actually been making probes this entire time as well. And he has now run all the way back home, so these Zerglings yep. are trying to get in. They're not going to be able to do so. It looks like he may lose the uh, Stalkers anyway, though, but the full wall is going to stop everything else, and here come the plus one Stalkers and Zealots! Yep, that's right. Hero coming with a strong attack here. We'll see if Min is able to defend it. Hero obviously not quite planning to go all in, all in with this. He does have plus one armor on the way back home, and he has, like I mentioned, continued to make probes throughout nearly all of this. So he does have the ability to possibly expand, but this is pretty serious, man. I mean, if he doesn't do damage with this, he's at least going to be pretty far behind in tech. He really is. And uh, there were ten roaches that were just created there. Three more are on the way yep. in a second. The uh, Zealots taking a little bit of damage, so they're able to rip through those Zerglings just so quickly. Fair number of Stalkers are out as well. It looks like he's going to prioritize the hatchery, get that down first, yes, and then uh, go ahead and back out of there. And the Roaches are going to be able to pursue and clean up a lot of these units, but it uh, looks like Hero has certainly done his damage. Yep, that's right. And check that out. Target firing those Roaches, making those Stalkers really efficient there. Not doing it while he's warping in more, but overall Hero still looking really strong at this point. A little bit down on supply, but that's okay, because at this point you want the Zerg to need to be worried about making offensive units rather than drones, rather than getting their economy going. And he killed that hatchery, man. He did the damage that he needed to do. And uh, Hero going to start warping in a little bit farther away. Uh, no subsequent hatchery has been placed down yet. Min has lost quite a few units, as we can see. It's just a 20-supply gap now between our two players. Yeah. Hero. And he's also got that plus one almost finishing now as well. He needs to fall back to that cannon. Big Stalker count right now. He needs to kind of crunch himself into the corner. Needs to warp in some Zealots here. And without Blink here, that does make this army quite a bit weaker. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Finally adding in a few Zealots as well. A couple sentries probably wouldn't hurt either uh, eventually to add some Guardian Shields, stuff like that, because he does have quite a bit of gas bank. At the very least, Templar Archives would be kind of cool. Either way, Hero looking pretty safe right now against uh, Min. He's doing a ton of damage here. Min not able to get his third base up and going. He opted for a macro hatch back home. The Zealots are dying very quickly but man, the control from Hero, the Stalkers, living for so long, he's being so efficient. Okay, well, we'll see if this uh, can eventually turn back Hero at the moment. There's something flying over his base. <laughs> That's going to be picked up on by a lot of sentries. This overseer yep. will eventually die. And, uh, oh, getting oh. away with four hit what? points. Lazy sentries, man. They no should have been at home. Look at that. He used, actually, a, a changeling to draw the fire of the sentries, I think, for just a second. And uh, Photon Cannon is going to get cleaned up. Unfortunately, it's not going to be able to protect really anything else. Twilight Council and a robotic facility coming up Love now. <laughs> and indeed, he will be let in, but uh, still going to be pretty difficult for him to take a third base. Min just putting down his third hatchery once again, though. Yeah, so Hero did some decent damage there, but he's not, you know, he's not out of the water just yet. I mean, he's got to get some tech now. His opponent is ahead in that regard. He's already got his infestation pit going getting his plus one missile attacks and burrow as well. And Min does have a ton of roaches out right now. This is a pretty serious force coming across the map right now. It's going to be really, really difficult for Hero to take that third. He's going to have to do a lot of defending here in the mo in a moment. And uh, plus one armor is finished for those units as well. Gives him a little bit more survivability. No upgrades uh, finished for Min quite yet. He does have plus one ranged attacks on the way. And uh, actually his infestation pit just finishes up as well. Yep. Waiting for that creep finish receding. Yeah, so the third base getting very delayed there. I mean, I mean, very underused by a lot of players, but uh, it is incredibly useful to have that done. Guardian and Shield goes oh. up. Um, that's still a fair number of roaches and zerglings. That's quite the force to try and contend with. Yeah, well, I mean, Min is, is probably going to always be ahead in supply at this point until both players get maxed out. But 
Hero's got a good contingence of gateway units at home. He has enough sentries to kind of block that off. Enough incentive anyway for uh, Min to not want to attack, decide to play a little bit more passively instead. And with Infestors on the way, the last thing you want to do is lose a bunch of roaches that you'll have to remake because then that just means that you'll have to uh, make less Infestors then. And what Pan the? <laughs> Phantom Bear guy has rolled his way up. Someone should put him out of his misery, honestly. Terrifying space Roomba. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, he's even got like a little red visor in the front. <laughs> Is that where the lasers come out? And that's exactly. where the jet, like the, the Jedi, have to deflect with their uh, back. Yeah. Well, uh, Min's going to try and launch an attack from the uh, left hand side. There is a photon cannon up there, but a lot of the units are pretty far out of position. Oh, that base is toast, man. Oh, wow. I'm I'm surprised. One more volley from that, and Min might have been able to force a cancel, but instead pulls back. Doesn't want to do the fight right there. Yeah. It's kind of like I said earlier. You know, it's not a point in the game where you want to have to spend a lot of money on uh, replacing roaches. So, perfectly fine decision from Min. Couple more investors coming up now. Both players are going to be on three bases momentarily. Just as soon as this uh, Nexus does finish up, additional focus on cannons being uh -oh, thrown in, uh -oh. and oh no, Min moving in just as Hero has moved out. Is Hero going to go for He's it? Going for it. It looks he like is. he is. So we're going to be in a base trade. That's right. Min's going to roll right to the natural after this. Potentially, we'll have to see if he does that or decides to go home. Hero, Hero deciding to go home. And both players Whoa. actually were making their way back. So uh, Min with only a few units yeah. and uh, Hero going to make his way back. But uh, the advantage does definitely go to Min in that scenario as the fourth base went down and uh, Min hasn't taken any damage. Uh, I think Hero was hoping that Min would continue attacking the natural so he could catch that unit because Hero would win in a straight up fight. But uh, as it is, he just kind of needs to rebuild that third base. Min getting even more ahead here. 30 supply taking that hidden expansion right outside of Hero's main which unless he makes like a warp prism or something like that and flies it down is probably not going to see anytime soon. So Min uh, doing a good job of continuing to get those little leads and that is so annoying. Little no leads. robotics facility, well he does have a robotics facility, but no observer until that one showed up. <laughs> Well, the Nexus is now on the way, but uh, right. as we can see, Min, not great upgrades, nice. but certainly still a very strong maxed army, and that is a lot of investors rolling their way up, and they are all very high energy. Yeah, it's looking pretty dangerous right now for Hero. He's moving out. See if he can engage this force, and here comes Min. And he's trying to flank with some forces. Uh, Hero needs some pretty good blink control here. Uh, he hasn't really blinked any of his units quite yet. Now finally getting it under control. The Immortal's going to work on a lot of the roaches on the left-hand side. Nice Men losing quite fields. a few forces there. Uh, actually, uh, the Immortal's actually doing their work, and it looks like Hero is going to be able to stabilize for now. But immediately we see 20 more roaches on the yeah. way, along with Spire and Hive Tech. So Min moving up to that uh, top-tier tech very quickly, and Hero in really no position to do so. Yeah, Hero wins the fight, but he does lose lose a lot of his forces to do it and he still doesn't have that third base up and running so means he can't attack he can't get too aggressive right now he needs to still play a little bit defensive here but it's difficult because you know behind all this your opponent is teching towards uh greater spire he's teching towards broodlord so hero right now he feels like he's under a lot of pressure oh and that helps jackpot and Find some drones there we go if you go down there oh, okay. oh well no uh not no as many oh, he does have blink well all right deciding not to take the chance but he is going to get himself a base which is nice at the same time though min moving out with a lot of forces and uh if yeah. you can trap these units coming back from hero will be in a very, very good spot. The high value units have already started to roll their way back there. The uh, uh -oh. mortals, the sentries, oh, things like that. But Min. here comes Min. Min's going to trap the army while he has another group go to the third. Oh, opting not to fight there, but no, he is going to fight. Okay, yeah, so he's going to try to delay Hero's army so he can take out that third base. A lot of very valuable infestors there, though. He needs to be careful with this. And uh, they are dropping down the infested Terrence on top of the Immortals, which is certainly a good move. See if he can take out a couple of those, but it looks like this base is probably going to go down. Hero trying to save it right now. It's getting very low in health. 400, 300, 200, 100, Goodbye. and dead! Wow, taking out that third base, that plan worked exactly like Min wanted. He's losing units, but look, it doesn't even matter. He's still able to remake supply faster than his opponent is. And as we can see, that Greater Spire's coming up. We've already got a couple of Corruptors out there, so uh, Min should be able to put some Broodlords in the air very quickly. Yep. That's right. So Min still looking pretty dangerous. And uh, as we can see, he's mined out of one of his bases, getting pretty low on a second, and really just working off of this uh, third base, which, of course, it was delayed for so long. Yeah. Uh, Hero, though, starting to long-distance mine because he doesn't have a better opportunity or a, a better option. I and mean, he's mined mm -hmm. out of his main as well. His natural is very, very low. Um, so Hero really running out of options pretty quickly. Well, Hero needs to get some area of effect damage out there. Right now, everything he has is single target, doesn't have any Colossi, doesn't have any Templar. And if you don't have area of effect, 
take damage against the late game Zerg army. They don't even really need to use Fungals, honestly. They can just use a bunch of Infested Terrans. Suddenly they're trading a lot of energy for uh, a lot of your units and you're not getting a lot of their units in return. So with Protoss at this point in the game, not only do you need to worry about Brew Lords and things like that, well, and that Infester did not do too well, um, but you also need to worry about the prospect that a lot of Zerg players now, we've, we're starting to see it more and more, are starting to really make a ton of Infesters and then trade Infested Terrans and energy for units. And a bunch of Zerglings decide they want to die. They run up uh, directly into the path of a good number of forces from Hero. And he finally does have his third base up and running, but honestly needs to start looking at another one here momentarily. Well, he's got the good old DTs on the way to help him out. That Maybe he can recruit Space Roomba. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I don't know, man. Space Roomba Kinda fights for like no man. Kind unit. Yeah. I suppose so. But Distant uh, primitive relative of the sentry, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more powerful, but a little bit more brutish as well. That's right. Intellect isn't quite as high, but he still knows how to make fire. It's all good. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, all right, one Blink Stalker, enough to delay or uh, move away quite a few of these units, even the Broodlord getting out of there. So a base denied for a long time just with the presence of one Stalker and uh, little things like that that Hero really needs at the moment. Yep, I mean, uh, it's, it's better just to move the units away and move them towards your army rather than just let one, you know, upgraded Stalker do tons of damage to it. Makes a little bit more sense, and he's bringing his army up there anyway. Um, as you can see, Hero is forced to kind of expand towards his opponent at this point, so Min can be pretty comfortable having his rather immobile Broodlord-based army on that side of the map right now. Uh, Hero, you know, what he really needs to start looking at doing is what he's already doing. He's going to be sending DTs to some of the other alt outlying bases, probably going to be seeing some pylons put up to harass with things like Zealots as well. And if he does something like that, and I mean, Hero's done it a million times before, that could be what gets him back into this game. Well, he's certainly going to need it. Um, let's see here. Roach sitting underneath uh, the ground. Yeah, there's not a lot of spore crawlers up everywhere from what I've seen. So DTs have the potential to do some very real damage. Yep. That's right. They certainly could. I have to see how many Overseers are out on the map right now. It looks like there is one. And we have no idea where it is. Let's see. Is it in this army? Nope. Don't think so. Ah, but nope. now spine crawlers and spore crawlers are coming up just in the nick of time. Oh, man. Where's that overseer? He needs to get that there fast because there are DTs that are about to start attacking those drones. Oh, it looks like they're just going to go straight oh. after the hatchery. So, Not bad. Oh, oh but Fungal's already go. hitting a few of those units. Uh, he's going to need another one here in a second. There, uh, detection finally does catch up. So yep. DT's uh, effect is going to be mitigated. But another hatchery going to go down in the bottom right. Yep, that's right. So Hero doing everything he can to come back in this game and obviously this is helping quite a bit taking out one base there basically for free and he can send those DTs on to other greater things possibly but Min has an absolutely terrifying late game army going he's still one base ahead and he's still in a position where he can pretty effectively push if he wants to and he's doubled the economy of his opponent. As we can see, Hero yeah. is mined out of two bases now, and it's going to be extremely difficult for him to catch up economically unless he uh, isn't able to take and hold a base right now. Yep, needs to happen. Needs to get that base up and running, or he needs to just end the game with this push. Either one will work for Hero, but it's going to be tough. A lot of spine crawlers there to delay. Gives him in the time to get his army back. He does, as you point out, have eight Broodlords, but here comes Hero. This is it. All right, well, the spine crawler wall is done. It looks like he's just going to move over to the third base. The rest of the army coming back for, uh, from Min. Now, Hero does have the better position on the high ground here, and he throws nice down some force fields. fields to go ahead and trap some units out. And it looks like he's going to grab the hatchery. He needs to kill it, though. There, finally goes down, but takes him a little bit more time. And Min just going to push through the middle. Yeah, he's going to go for it. He knows he's got the slightly better army right now, and with proper control, he should be able to handle it. Hero still has a chance army-wise but it's going to be definitely a challenge without a mother, without a mothership right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really makes a lot of difference there. But uh, with seven Broodlords hanging in the air. Oh, one gets picked off very quickly. Oops. Nice job by Hero. Doesn't lose too much in return either. Just trying to bait back those, oh, those forces so we can blink up one Whoa, more time. What are those Broodlords doing? Min. Takes off two, three, four of them. A fifth maybe going to fall here as well. And Min sacrifices a lot there in losing those Broodlords. Wow, the army's still strong for Min, but that was a colossal waste there losing those Broodlords. He needs to pull back. He actually uh, can't continue this push with that. And uh, once again, Whoops. man, I mean, Hero really needs some resources. He has equalized the mining just a little bit because, uh, as we can see, he took out uh, one of the two mining bases that Min had available. <laughs> that is a lot of spine crawlers protecting that base. Oh, though. yeah. Yep. I mean, this is kind of how we see Zergs playing late game versus Protoss now. They just kind of want to sit around and only attack if they feel like they have a good opportunity to just crush their opponent. After losing those Broodlords, Min's like, yeah, I don't know. I think I'd feel a lot safer with a bunch of spine crawlers beneath <laughs> me, so... 
Although it's not something you hear a lot of people say for right. Zergs, you know, that does work. Well, uh, that's a lot of Infestors, I have to say, 16 of them, and they haven't been used quite yet because, yeah. uh, unfortunately, the Broodlords were picked off before they were able to get there. Just five Broodlords remaining, a six on the way at the moment, oh. and uh, Hero ducking uh, in with a few forces there, trying to pick off some Infestors off to the side, not able to get those done, and Min going to leave some of his Infestors uh, or, or drop them out of the army and go that's attack with them. Right, here we go, and just like I said, a lot of Infested Terrans being thrown out, but there are Storms. There is AoE for Hero. Min is going to lose these Infestor Terrans really Really, really quickly, but he is trading some energy for some units. But there's the blink. Liquid Hero taking out all the Broodlords, but does he have enough Stalkers to survive everything else? And he is storming quite a few of the rest of the Infested Terrans, and now he can just kind of back out oh of there man. and does so. Yeah. The Roach is going to catch up, but the Infested Terrans don't really have the opportunity to do so. But look at this. That's Min launching an Infested Terran counterattack here. Yeah, man, that Nexus is in danger of going down really fast, and that is his last mining base. Hero down to just 100 supply oh right now. Oh, my Min God. winning the War of Attrition in the end, despite losing that fight. Yeah, he did lose that fight pretty considerably. But now, what does Hero do? He has literally no fo uh, no well, income left at all. He has to make a nexus with the available forces and attack. Yeah, I mean, he just needs to win with this. That's it. I mean, those Infested Terrans are going to maybe kill another gateway or two. Um, he's going to try to catch some of the Infestors. Does he have an Observer with that army? I'm not he sure. I don't see does one. not, I believe. Yeah, I don't see one anywhere nearby. He's making another one right now. But yeah, attacking into all those spine crawlers is going to be pretty tough for a hero, even with the amount of uh, Immortals that he has. Yeah, he sees those Infested Terrans <sighs> and just runs away. And he just lost all of his sentries on top of that oh, as man. well. So only yep. to take out two or three spine crawlers, and that's certainly not yep. going to be enough. So, Hero, I mean, that's the thing that you, the situation that you end up in in PvZ in the very late game is that you can win those big fights pretty convincingly. But if you're down on economy, if you're down on bases, in the end, you're just going to starve out. And that's kind of the situation we're seeing for Liquid Hero right now, trying to put down that Nexus. But will it be too little too late? I mean, this the survival of this Nexus is crucial for the survival of Team Liquid in the upper bracket right now. They're in serious danger of being eliminated. That's right. And uh, this is a winner's bracket match, that's so of right. course Not no one's going to be, yeah, no one's no. going to be out of the tournament, but they will be sent down to the lower bracket to face yeah. the uh, winner of MVP versus TSL, and that's certainly uh, not a very enviable task for anyone right. to be forced with that. Yeah, the hopes and dreams of Team Liquid fans everywhere rest on that Nexus <laughs> right there that's being built. Well, the Nexus is about halfway done. Um, Min, though, is almost max once again. And he's sitting on double the supply yeah. of his opponent. Worker count's not too dissimilar, so and this army is certainly not going to be able to match up against this in a straight-up fight. Oh, so. man, here we go. Min looking unstoppable. It's going to be like 300 here, man, and I don't know if those stalkers are quite Spartans. Well, they're going to have to be if there's any hope of surviving, and yep. this this Nexus uh, is going to have to be canceled here in a second. Look at that, already going down. Oh, Storm's hitting a few so of the Broodlords, and canceled. he does have to cancel the Nexus, unfortunately. Lost some units on the way out as well. In fact, some of those uh, some of those Immortals getting yeah, very low. I mean, Min's got as many Broodlords as Hero has Stalkers right now, so that's just not going to be a situation that Hero's going to come back with, even though Hero slightly has more Stalkers than Min has Broodlords now, but... <laughs> Whoa, oh, see if he go. can Blinking do it. In. Blinking in from the side, picks off one of the Broodlords, but he all does. the rest of the Stalkers getting destroyed. GG. There's a GG. Slayers advances into the winner's bracket finals A Team Arena Challenge 3. Man, and it was nail-biting from start to finish there. Liquid fans should be...